Hey guys, it's Jagel. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about leveling DPS inside Palace of the Dead. Let's get right into it. So first things first, in true Final Fantasy fashion, there's an unlock quest to complete. It's called The House That Death Built. We're going to need to have that done before we can access Palace of the Dead. Another thing, we're going to want to have our hotbars set up for skills up to level 60. Palace of the Dead has an independent level and gearing system, so we will be using skills up to level 60 even if your alt is level 1. Also, don't worry about your gear. Like I just said, separate leveling and gearing system, so none of that stuff even matters in here anyway. There's no reason to stress out about it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select Teleport. We're going to choose the Black Shroud. We're going to choose South Shroud and Quarry Mill. Okay guys, and once we arrive in Quarry Mill, we are going to want to head over to the Wood Whaler Expeditionary Captain and talk to them. We're going to choose Reset Your Progress because we want to make sure we have an empty slot. That's going to be a necessity to load in. And then we're going to choose Enter Palace of the Dead. After that, we're going to go ahead and select our slot, and then choose Enter with a matched party. We're going to do Floor 51. The reason we're entering with a matched party is so we can get matched up with other players and not go in solo. Floor 51 to 60 is where we get our best experience yields. So some quick tips are going to be walk against the walls and not in the middle of the floor. Reason for that being, as you'll see, a party member is about to hit a luring trap. This is going to summon a bunch of extra mobs for us to deal with, and it's just a big pain in the butt. You'll also see me here in a couple minutes in the video hit a toading trap, where I get turned into a toad and can't do anything. It really just wastes your time, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So yeah, avoid traps, for sure. Okay guys, next thing to keep in mind when running these and grouping with randoms is speed is key. People are just trying to knock these out quick because when you finish the set of floors is when you actually get the experience that doesn't come from the mobs inside. So people just want to get it done. If you pay attention to the map at the right here, you'll see the blue key is lit up. That's the Karen of transport and will take you to the next floor. Go ahead and move on as soon as that key is lit up. The next thing is, don't be stingy with the items, guys. You're only going to be in here for 10 floors, so feel free to experiment with the pomanders at your leisure, you know? Uh, try out the strengths and the rage and all that stuff, lust, and see what they do and see how you like them. Maybe see uh, what you can come up with as far as strategies to use them for. So definitely don't be stingy with the items. Use them, use them as much as you want. You're only in there for a few floors, so, so use them up. Uh, again, floor 51 to 60 is where the best experience yield is going to be is because it's the fastest. You can knock them out really quick with a group of four online. And it can be any composition, DPS, healer, tank, whatever. It, it, it doesn't really matter. Cool. So the last thing we should probably address while talking about grinding floors 51 to 60 for experience is the boss. There's a boss at the end of the 10 floors. It's a pretty much standard tank and spank boss. Just dodge the purple puddles he's gonna drop on the floor and also he's gonna do a charge attack that's gonna put like a rectangle AOE on you. You cannot avoid it as you'll see when you move around it will mirror your character. Uh, don't worry about it, it shouldn't do that much damage to you. You'll be alright. Just take it and DPS him down. And that's about it guys. Thank you so much for coming by and supporting the channel and I hope you have a wonderful day.